So this week was full of some major AI news and updates. We got an AI that styles your outfits, systems that code, and even run entire businesses. So hit that subscribe button and let's explore everything we got in AI this week. Let's start with something that's been making waves. Higgsfield just released Soul in Paint, and this is genuinely a game changer for AI image editing. So if you've been following Higgsfield, you know their Soul model has been creating these incredibly aesthetic, fashion-grade images that honestly look better than traditional photography. But here's the thing, until now, you were stuck with whatever the AI generated. Soul in Paint changes that completely. You now have pixel-perfect control to edit anything in your Soul images. Want to change someone's clothes? Done. Hair color? Easy. Replace objects? No problem. And here's the crazy part. It maintains that signature soul aesthetic throughout the edit. This isn't just another in-painting tool. It's like having a professional photo editor that understands high-end fashion photography. The timing is perfect too, because this directly competes with the traditional photography industry. When you can generate fashion-grade images and then edit them with this level of precision, why would you need expensive photo shoots? Speaking of expensive, Perplexity just joined the $200 per month subscription club alongside Anthropic and OpenAI. Perplexity Max is targeting power users who need unlimited access to their research capabilities. Here's what you get. Unlimited labs usage, which lets you create dashboards, spreadsheets, presentations, and web applications. Early access to new features, including their upcoming browser called Comet, and access to frontier models like OpenAI's O3 Pro and Claude Opus 4. The interesting thing is how this pricing tier is emerging across the industry. It's like these companies figured out that professionals will pay premium prices for premium AI capabilities. But $200 a month? That's getting into serious business tool territory. A small German team has unveiled Warm Wind OS, which is being presented as the world's first true AI operating system. In contrast to traditional AI systems that primarily engage in conversational interactions, Warm Wind OS is designed to see the screen, control the mouse and keyboard in a manner akin to human interaction, and navigate software directly within a live browser-based workspace. It employs computer vision and semantic understanding to learn patterns rather than merely memorizing procedures, thereby making it platform agnostic. This development represents a significant technical breakthrough. Warmwind OS possesses the capability to automate complex tasks across a wide range of applications, including modern web applications such as Shopify and Gmail, desktop software on Windows and Mac, and even legacy systems that lack application programming interfaces, APIs. The system learns from human demonstrations, optimizes workflows, and aims for complete automation with minimal human intervention, potentially rendering certain roles, particularly those with a salary of $100,000 per year, redundant. Warmwind OS's ability to see pixels, click pixels, learn patterns through semantic understanding, and operate across any platform, including legacy systems without APIs, signifies a real profound advancement. Google Labs just launched Doppel, and this is their take on virtual fashion try-on. But it's not just static images. Doppel creates AI-generated videos of you wearing different outfits. You can upload photos of any outfit from anywhere, friends, shops, social media, and see how it looks on a digital version of yourself. Doppel represents an advancement built upon Google's existing AI mode technology for shopping, making virtual try-ons more accessible and dynamic. The application aims to revolutionize online shopping by providing consumers with a more accurate perception of how clothes fit and drape, which could potentially lead to a reduction in product returns and an overall enhancement of the e-commerce experience. The AI creates animated videos that give you a much better sense of how the outfit would actually look and feel. This is part of Google's broader push into AI-powered shopping. They're essentially trying to eliminate the guesswork from online shopping by letting you try everything on virtually first. It's available on iOS and Android in the US, and knowing Google, it'll probably expand globally soon. And speaking of Google, they just commenced the global deployment of VO3, its advanced video generation model, which is now accessible to Gemini users in over 159 countries. This model is capable of generating videos up to eight seconds in length at 720p resolution from text prompts. It demonstrates impressive realism, motion control, advanced physics simulation, and precise lip syncing. 
Additionally, VO3 supports native audio, including background noise, soundtracks, and voiceovers. VO3 positions Google as a direct competitor to OpenAI's Sora in the burgeoning field of generative video. Its multimodal generation capabilities, encompassing text, image, and sound, combined with physics-aware rendering, make it suitable for creating cinematic scenes, product concepts, or viral memes. This development opens up high-end AI video creation to a broader audience, eliminating the need for traditional equipment. The global rollout of VO3 and its advanced multimodal capabilities, text, image, sound, physics simulation, signify the rapid maturation of AI video generation, transforming it into a mainstream creative tool. However, the access restrictions, AI Pro subscribers, daily cap, and mandatory watermarking reflect the ongoing tension between democratizing powerful AI and managing its potential for misuse, particularly in the context of deepfakes. Replit has introduced Dynamic Intelligence, a significant enhancement to its AI-powered coding assistant, Replit Agent. This suite incorporates three advanced capabilities, web search, now activated by default for real-time data access, extended thinking, which supports step-by-step -step logic for complex debugging or unclear challenges, and a high-power model, which leverages a more advanced AI engine, specifically Claude Opus, for intensive tasks such as UI overhauls and back-end integration. These upgrades are designed to substantially reduce the need for human intervention and improve the quality of solutions in coding. Replit Agent is evolving from a tool that merely provides code suggestions into an intelligent assistant capable of supporting real-time, goal-based development tasks. Replit CEO Amjad Massad has characterized this update as like deep research but for coding, super powerful. The inclusion of real-time web search and advanced models like Claude Opus signifies a progression towards agentic coding, where AI actively participates in the development lifecycle beyond just generating code. Here's where things get really interesting. Grok4 benchmark results have apparently leaked, and if they're accurate, this model is crushing everything else. The leaked results show 45% on humanity's last exam with reasoning, compared to about 21% for previous models. Humanity's last exam is designed to be incredibly difficult, testing the absolute frontier of AI capabilities. A 45% score would be a massive jump forward. The leaked benchmarks also show 87 to 88% on GPQA and 72 to 75% on SWE Bench for the coding version. Now, these aren't official results, and leaked benchmarks should always be taken with skepticism, but if accurate, Grok4 would represent a significant leap in AI capabilities, especially in reasoning and problem solving. Finally, Google just launched Gemini in Classroom, bringing AI tools directly to educators. This includes over 30 new AI tools to help teachers create content, brainstorm ideas, and differentiate content for students. The timing is interesting because we're seeing AI integration happen across all sectors simultaneously. Education has been relatively slow to adopt AI, but Google is making a major push here. Teachers can now use Gemini to create lesson plans, generate practice tests, and even create interactive study guides. Students get AI chatbots for homework help, and it's all integrated directly into Google Workspace for Education. The big question is how this affects learning. Are students going to become dependent on AI assistance, or will this free up teachers to focus on higher-level instruction?